Hopefully that doesn't reset my sound settings, but welcome to Waking Mars! The wakingest of Marsiest is, is. This is a mobile port. I'm uh, pretty sure I already mentioned that, but it's a mobile port. Uh, it's pretty obvious it's a mobile port, but it's actually I a really good game. The cave entrance. So there you go. Despite the unusual readings, everything appears normal. Amani, what is your status? Yeah, I've got you, and I'm good here. Art, have you verified the system tests and everything? Yes. Then I'm prepared to descend. This begins our historic mission. I am honored to have you as my team. <laughs> I knew you'd say something like that, you softy. Watch yourself in that cave, okay? This game has pretty pretty darn good uh, voice quality, just saying, voice acting quality. So this is us. I like how we can insta turn like that. That's some some pro running. What if I just do There we go, pro running. Pro running is pro. Uh, I know how to move game, thank you. I've played this a little bit. I've made it to chapter two, which isn't very far in the game, but I'm quite enjoying it, so I thought, you know what, let's let's play it together. So we're gonna play it together, kind of, I guess. I don't know. First thing we need to go is just run right. There's nothing we can do but run left and right at the moment, so just run right, and then it'll the let us use our jetpack. The tunnel has already become too vertical to continue on foot. I'm switching to jetpack. Sounds great. Huzzah! What's up, River? So, up, oh, we'll turn on your jetpack, or you just fall off of stuff and it'll turn on your jetpack, too. Um, either way, we need to we need to pro jetpack our way over here. This game is... I don't I don't really know how to, to explain this game or put it in a category. You, It's a thing. I don't really know. Ow. I guess it's kind of a puzzle game, but not really? I don't know. You'll see once we start getting into it a little bit more here. There's gonna be a lot of voice acting in this game, which is fine. Look a thing! Voice act me up. Game. Amani, are you receiving go. this? I have encountered some of the Zoa. Congratulations, Leong. You're the first person to make contact with extraterrestrial life. Yay! They appear to be the Halid, the same Zoa discovered by our robotic explorer. They are beautiful and strange. But not so unlike plants on Earth. A Zoa cannot be classified as a plant. True. The movement is more like that of an animal. I wonder if they're aware of me. I'd, I'd want to point something out. Art is probably the best character in this game because of the, the facial expressions it uses. It's hilarious looking. Either way, this is the first... I smashed my head into the roof. Don't worry about that. Um... You can die in this game. It actually has a difficulty selection. I'm not sure what that changes because I haven't gotten too far in yet. Um, but this is the first thing you'll meet in the game. They'll produce these things, which are, I, I guess, seeds. In my hands a seed from one of the Hallets. Technically not, but This yeah. cannot be classified as a seed. <laughs> Don't worry, Art. He's, he's so it's sad. It's just a convenient way for us to refer Aww. to them. There is fertile terrain nearby. I will attempt to plant this. Indeed. So there's a bunch of seeds. I've only actually encountered two. Uh, but this is the basic one, you just throw it in that, and it'll plant. Pro Jetpacking is pro indeed. And we'll grow one of those, huzzah! This game's kind of the interaction of things, I guess, is how it kind of rolls. By the way, let's pick up some more of these. We can't do anything with these plants yet. Let me actually open something up. You can go into... Oh, we can't yet. Never mind. There's a little research thing where you can learn stuff about plants and how they interact with each other and stuff. But either way, we need to plant a bunch of crap, Money. because he's going to say something There's about something this. Troubling to report. One of the cerebrain life forms grows here. And let me guess, it's covering the entire passage. It appears that way, unless there is some alternate route. Well, you know my theory. They form airtight seals to filter nutrients. You're not going to find a way around it. But remember what Octo discovered? Just do that. Hmm. Then I will attempt to reproduce Octo's results, planting more Zoa to open the cerebrain. I mean, this is an iOS game that has better voice acting than some of the, you know, high-budget, crazy stuff games, which is kind of amazing. Just want to point that out. So we go through th three things, and that thing will go away, and we can continue. Wee, Ow, my face. It's a good thing I had that, th that you know, so that works thing great. covering my head. Grow plants, the cerebrain open. They shouldn't stop us from exploring the cave. Yes, but I worry planting Zoa will have an adverse impact. Suppose we find Cerebrain growing extensively. That seems unlikely. Octo only encountered a couple of them this close to the surface anyway. Attention! I have discovered a Cerebrain in this chamber! Hmm. Uh, or maybe things have changed since Octo was here. Well, look, even if there are Cerebrain, we need to keep planning. Or it's gonna be a short mission, right? Yes, for now that is my response as well. 
I seriously love Art's like little facial expression emote things. It's hilarious. Just wanna say. These are little crumbly bits. That's kind of an explanation of crumbly bits. Other than that, they're not, you know, they're crumbly bits. You stand on them, they crumble. That's how that works. So now we got five seeds. Guess what? Ow. Guess what we do with our five seeds? We've planted them. We're gonna get more seeds anyway. Eventually we'll meet our break everything with my face, it's cool. We meet our no. Oh, give me think back. The second plant, and then immediately, pretty much immediately after that, the third one, and then it'll start progressing a bit more rapidly, which is all good. Good times. I'll just smash my face in more things. I don't think there's actually a point to growing all of these plants, but I don't see a reason not to, so we'll just plant that one over there for no reasons. Alert! I have detected a transmission in Octo's encoding. Huzzah! Whoa, really? Let's take a look. We would be fortunate to have found him so quickly. No such luck. It's not Octo, it's some component he detached. I wonder why. This signal contains a message. Oh, I know what's up now. He's leaving behind remote camera modules. Take a look, Leon. So this is a live transmission of something in the cave. What is it? Hmm. You're the one who gets to find out. I'll mark your map with the location of the signal. Thank you. I actually don't know who or what Octo is. Uh, the most I know is he came here before us and left things. And then we lost transmission. Oh, that's the extent of my knowledge. Here's the map. Blah, blah blah We've only been to the top area, the first area, and then this. That's where we need to go down here. It won't be too much longer before we get down there. Keyboard emoticons. I told you, Art is amazing. He's like literally the best, best character in the game. I, I do like this game though. It's pretty cool. Especially the the characters and the story is all pretty sweet. There's our next creature. Research opportunity. Hello. Amani, we have discovered a new life form, one that even Octo did not report. This can be classified as a Zoa. Collect a portion of it for scanning. Affirmed. I will grab one of those seeds. Happy face. Oh, hey. So we need to pick up the stuff it's spitting out here. And then scanning. land and I'll do this. This Zoa produces large quantities of liquid water. We will call it a Hydron. Attempt to hurdle this at a Halid. Prior research indicates they may respond positively to water. Will do, Art. First, I need to collect more water from this thing. I think these things can give you three uh, water doohickers because they're on wet soil. You can actually see the soil back there is blue, which means it's wet. If it's green, it's not wet. And wet soil will produce more seeds. Zah. Alright, so we got six. Here's a bunch of crap here. What we need to do is we need to moisten them, like so, and then they'll start spitting out. These will heal you, actually, which is nice enough. They'll start spitting out green seeds, which we then can then use to uh, meal seed. We can then use to plant more, and then water more, and then get more seeds. One thing Research I have. Opportunity. Oop. Yes, he's excited. I theorize that there exists multiple functions for this. Hurdle it not just at other life forms, but also plant it into fertile terrains. That's actually what I was going to show off right there. So we can actually make more of those things grow, and then water things for you. So I'm going to throw one right there, as an example. And then just throw a bunch of these around. I could have waited to be more efficient, let him water all the, f the soil first, but you know. It'll be alright. And now he'll water the plants for me. Huzzah! Because I'm lazy and don't want to water things. Although he's currently watering in the wrong direction, if you'd like to water that one over there. Whatever. I'll do it for you, you stupid plant. There you go. We may as well actually, for, for funsies, we may as well just plant stuff everywhere. Because why the heck not? Planting all the things. That one disappeared. And then we planted another one. I'm not sure why that one disappeared, actually. Maybe we should check out the research. Does it say anything about that? Um, vulnerabilities can be damaged or destroyed by significant impacts or explosions. Did I hit it with something on accident? Hmm. 
By the way, I just want to pick up a few more seeds and then we'll carry on because I don't really care about the rest of that. You get plenty of seeds most of the time anyway. I will now inform you usefully. Hooray! It's about Scans time. report that life forms produce different amounts of biomass. Okay. Biomass goes up with every life form created. This is the total. Okay. Art's a bit slow. For a cerebrain to open, total biomass must cross certain thresholds. These cerebrain open at biomass 3. I have developed this interface for you to use from now on. It exposes my scanning data. That will be an important tool, Art. So you detect no other way to proceed through the cave. No! You must create new life forms of Mars by hurtling protocaps with your human arms. Protocaps? Did you just invent that word? Yes! I have a creative module. Hooray! By protocaps, you mean seeds, though. Growing plants with seeds. Yes! That is how humans communicate. <laughs> I like his face. He's like, I have a creative module. Alright, so we need to plant stuff, and because, again, I'm lazy, I'm gonna plant watery doohickers up at the top there, so water stuff for me, because I'm lazy. And my spindly human arms can only do so much. I do need more water, though, so let's pick up a few of these. Oh, there's just twos, alright. And there's another water thing down here, I think? Yeah, I'm not sure what exactly he's doing down here, but whatever. Do, 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 do. They planted another one where I didn't want them to plant another one. Oh well, it'll be alright. So you could manually water all this stuff yourself, but you know, efficiency. It's like an auto troll. I actually heard. Did. Are a bunch of cerebrains opening? I'm confused as to what's going on here. Let's stock up on some more green seeds real quick. I was hoping he would actually water this one, but that's alright. Something over here open? Oh, there's a bunch of seeds down here, though. For some reason, just seeds everywhere. I don't know if there's any secrets in this game, or if it's a, a linear thing. I haven't got that far. Makes sense. This is right around where we lost contact with him. Unfortunately, this roof has since collapsed. Great. Are you gonna head back to the outpost for the digging tools? Those things are amazing. I love them. A little bit creepy. Money, I'm not blocked. There is an opening overhead. Oh, I, uh, see because the transmission through all the rock gets static and... Uh, sorry. Have a little love thing with the digging tools there. It's a little creepy. Either way, up we go, and we meet actually some this new area stuff. Contains strongly acidic vapors. Thank you, Art. Liquids also. Acid appears to be dripping through cracks in the rock. Well, don't touch it. That stuff can damage you and your suit. It's acid. I was assuming it could. Either way, this is the first area where you can actually take damage from something that isn't falling. Ow. Which is lovely, Jubbly. They put these around so you can heal yourself, but I mean... Did you? There's one down here that's already watered? Yeah. So, if you get hurt, you can just run over here and heal. Which I'm probably going to do on the way back, but, you know, spoilers. Pick up some of these. So we're full on both of our seeds. You can apparently only carry ten at a time. That stuff shakes randomly. Apparently she wants to kill me. It's always good to no? know. Wait for the acid. Attention. Hello. This is a previously unknown life form of Mars. It looks evil. This microscopic Murder it. life form digests minerals in the rock and excretes sulfuric acid as a waste product. Colonies such as this grow rapidly when eating, and individuals can travel through tiny fractures in rock. You know, I'm looking at the scanners, and I think those things are popping up all over the place. Acid is dripping out of everywhere. That seems bad. Temperature, humidity, and pressure have been on the rise, and I guess one of those triggered a growing spree. That is a noteworthy sequence of events. How did it evolve this way? Huh? You want me to analyze their genetics? I was just thinking out loud, but this is a dead end. I must return the way I came. Well, what I'm trying to say is that it's getting kind of dangerous. So be careful and stuff. Yeah, like that. Indeed. 
Back we go. And it's gonna start triggering a bunch of things falling on my face. And acid. Lots of acid. We may as well actually check out research stuff, because why not? Hazards, this acid stuff, whatever. There's the cerebrains, we could, uh, there's really nothing to think about. They're classified according to the biomass level at which they open. Whatever, fertile terrain. There's the wet thing, actually, I figured this out via this. So you plant stuff in there, they'll actually produce more seeds than dry, which makes sense. There's that one, there's that one. Apparently we can't research the acid drippy things, which makes me sad. Can these both? Those are both vulnerable to the same thing. And I can't do that because I haven't done research. Hmm. We must do more research. A lot more research opens up... Ow, my face. Um, there's nothing down there, by the way. A lot more research opens up once you get more uh, seeds. We may as well heal since we're here. Mm. And we got research updated for that. Sweet. I didn't realize that updated your research either way. We need to go down here because that's full. We need to not burn my face on the acid. And this will put us on the other side of that rock we were stuck on. Which is right here. Well, that's where it was. This will lead back into the place we just were. You can see all the plants over there. Not exactly sure where those rocks went, but... Yeah. Questions. Acid face. Okay. Fallen like a rock. This is basically just to get to this area with acid and rocks falling all over the place. There's not a whole lot of growing we need to do until I believe the start of chapter 2 is when we'll start getting back into the growing and researching and stuff. Also, here's that thing we saw from Octo. Here it is, Leon. The last known location of Octo. He proceeded further and was never heard from again. Can you see Octo's camera module? Should be nearby. It's actually on the know, floor. It is getting kind of dangerous down there, so maybe you should just head back instead. Use your map to return to the outpost quickly. We'll regroup and evaluate. No. Oh. If you continue to the right, uh, there is something over there, but she'll actually tell you maybe you should go back. I don't know if it's possible to continue that way. I'm gonna try in a Alert. second here, but this is camera this hardware dispossessed by Octo. Dispossessed. Yes, I assumed it might be. But why did Octo place it here? Was he interested in these basalt columns? I am acquiring data from the module now. Data is inconclusive. Octo stopped attempting to transmit and instead dispossessed the module. The mystery deepens. I can think of no reason he would stop sending transmissions. Hmm. Hmm. I like how he says dispossessed. We're gonna see if I can actually manage to get over here. Last time I did this, I fell in lava. Or acid, sorry. Hey, Leon. If you didn't get that last transmission, here's what I was saying. You should head back to the outpost, use the map. It will allow you to travel instantly. Now oh, I want to explore. Ooh, okay. Stuff's fallen. Should I be going this way? Oh, this looks awfully secrety. Out of my face. Oh, I can't continue anymore. I'm sad. All right, well. Whoop. This passageway has recently collapsed. Literally right in front of me. That is true. Amani was correct in her assessment of the danger. I have determined that it is 73.570% likely that Octo progressed this way. Then we know one thing at least. To continue our hunt, we will need to get deeper into this cave. I will now provide hopeful information. Hooray! The digging tools of the outpost are capable of removing this rubble that obstacles progress. Hmm. Did Amani program you to say that? Yes. <laughs> it tells all of its secrets. So we need to go to the map, the map and head back to the top here. I already know how to fast travel. Shut up. That's basically a fast travel system. Either way, we need to head back to the outpost for more things, saying things of things. So, what do you think about Leth Cavern? It's full of acid. It's a place taken from a dream. How lucky we are dream. to have been chosen for this mm. mission. But I am very concerned about structural integrity. We have been reckless. You're talking about that acid slime? I've got some new data. I noticed it has a distinct chemical fingerprint, so I wrote a little solver to find source locations. I used a second order approximation for the diffusion functions, which would be accurate enough. You agree? Uh, yes. So, check this out. This is derived from Octo's report. The slime was already here, even back then. 
Here's what it looks like now. Even distribution, much higher density. So for the past eight months, the slime has been traveling through rock and reproducing. The burst of activity was caused by my actions today? Definitely. Turns out it's triggered by compounds the halide release. You grew the halide, the acid started dripping. This acid is incredibly corrosive too. The cave is basically dissolving away. It's crazy. Ooh, there's more. You remember those strange readings we noticed when we landed? I used the subsurface shallow radar, and I'm pretty sure this is a body of liquid water. But eight months ago, it was mostly empty space. Maybe a bit of ice? An underground reservoir has simply appeared? Looks that way. This is awesome, right, Leong? So much to research. This is worrisome. It seems our impact is causing rapid changes that would not occur naturally. The cerebrain are the cause. Perhaps we should dig around them rather than continue raising biomass. We must reconsider our approach to the mission. We... Uh-oh. I done, I done broke something. I apologize, I didn't mean to. Barb Largle. Can you walk on the surface of Mars? Technically, I just did right before I went into the outpost, but there's nothing you can do up there. You can only walk left or right. You can't jetpack around. <laughs> 